I get the comment all the time. Well, if money is struggling and all of a sudden cash is not going to be worth anything, what else can we have? What if I don't want to put money in the stock market? What if I don't want to buy gold? What are some other things that we can have to make sure that we can take care of our family? So it goes back to bartering. Now we've done other videos on bartering, but today's video is gonna be a little different on bartering. We're not only gonna talk about bartering and the top five things to barter with, we're gonna talk about how they can still benefit you and have in preparedness, but at the same time, ableness to barter if you need. So let's jump into a list of five topical things that you need to be bartering and then we will do some subcategories there and we actually may do a second part to this video because it can really be big when we talk about bartering as a whole. What are some things that we should be bartering? What are some things that we shouldn't be bartering but that you could in an emergency? What should we be buying with our cash to then have in a bartering situation as an asset on our property? And what are some other ways that you can utilize it so it's just not sitting there? So let's jump into this list. It's going to be a great video on bartering and having some things that are worth money when all of a sudden money is not worth money. This video is going to be a good one. It starts right now. Hey guys, welcome to the Max. Thank you so much for being here. Now that we have two things playing against us in this video. I have a storm right over my shoulder with some really dark clouds. So hopefully uh, it won't start raining on us. Over this shoulder, that's one of my bee yards. So that's where my bees are at. We're gonna be slinging some honey later. And so I just happened to come back over here and hey, listen, let's, let's enjoy the video today here by the bee yard. But hopefully I won't get rained on or get stung by those wonderful honeybees over there. So if you're new to the Mexico down here, press subscribe, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, but let us know what you think about this content. Again, I want you to build up your finances. I want you to save cash. I want you to buy gold. I want you to have precious metals. I want you to have self-defense items. I want you to have a lot of those things that we've talked about in other videos. Where can we put our money to keep it safe? But when money all of a sudden is not worth anything or we're worried about a de-dollarization or banking issues, what can we buy that's going to give us value to make sure that we're okay and that we can provide for our family? And so we talk sustainability, we talk preparedness. But what are the things that all of a sudden when we come out of this, how, what can we barter? What's the importance of bartering? Well, bartering has been around for years, and it's one of those things that I think we're going to bring back very, very soon because we're in a time in our nation that, uh, sadly, it may be one of the only currencies that we have. So let's jump into this list. I think it's going to be a very good list about uh, some of the things that we have as an asset, but that can easily be bartered. So let's walk through this. First, of course, would be food items. Now we know food is valuable to us. So we stockpile, we put up food for preparedness and build our pantries. We have a video going on the Max Life channel right now. You need to go check out. We actually published it yesterday about our pantries. Now we have pantry videos on this one, but that is the most updated one. And you start seeing those foods. Well, when it comes to food, we wanna have enough for us. We've mentioned in several other videos Food is a great bartering item. Let's talk about four main food or food related items that are some of the best to barter and ones that will stay on your shelf forever. Now, number one of that would be honey. We've talked about honey in other videos. It does not ruin. It is good for our health. Not only medicinally, it helps us with energy levels, metabolism, and it's good for our bodies. So honey would be a great one to have that you can turn around and barter. Salt, salt would be a phenomenal one. Salt used to be a currency in the yesteryears. Look it up, salt was a big deal. People fought wars over salt. So having salt and making sure that you're piling, stockpiling salt up, this is a good thing to do. Now, the reason we talk about salt and honey because they don't go bad, but they're good for curing meats. You can cure meats. You can make tinctures. You can make cough syrups with honey. With salt, we're always curing meats. We always have it for brines. We have it to make sure our meat is safe and we can preserve it better. Salt has so many benefits and it's something that's pretty economical to buy. We buy 50 pound sacks, usually from Azure Standard or from online, and you can get them shipped right to your house and they're shipped in a cardboard sack. I always put ours in a five gallon tote. Now with a five gallon tote, the food grade buckets, we put our honey in there and we seal it so that way nothing can get to it. 
With salt, we do the same thing. We don't have to worry about certain things getting to it because it doesn't have a sweet factor. A lot of animals don't want to go to salt, they want to go to sweet. So I want to seal up that honey really well, keep it in a cool, dark environment. And then salt, we want to put in food grade buckets again for storing. It's one of the best things to barter with when it comes to food. Now let's talk about two more things. Next would be water, the key to life. Without water, no one will make it. So when we talk about bartering water and having water, you have to find ways to not barter water. You have to find ways to barter the source of water. Now what do I mean by that? If you have a creek that has access and water's flowing, maybe you have a deep water well. Well, you worry about the grid, so you have a way to actually pump that water out. Do you have a manual hand pump? We have a video on our manual hand pump. I'm standing next to our beautiful truck, by the way. But also, you see the building behind it. That building is actually where our water well is. So we have a deep water well with the manual pump. We also have a creek. We have that access. We have a lake that we can turn around and boil the water. Now, boiling water and having water, that's great but we have to make sure we're drinking good quality water. So when we're talking food and we're talking water, we have to talk about water purification. Do you have a way to filter water? This is one of the best bartering tools. Not that you're giving or trading your water away, you're trading the source of the water away for a season. So say you have someone that you're needing something to trade with. Bartering is all about taking advantage of what they have and they taking advantage of what you have. It's a good relationship builder. We don't want to barter with people we don't like. We want to barter with our community, people who believe like we do. So if they can provide you know X food then we could provide X water so it may be okay you can't have my water of course you're not gonna have my lake or have my creek but you can have access to it to fill up your jugs in bartering trade with whatever they have as well so number three would be water but it's also how to get the water source the water or filter the water that is a huge one now the fourth one when it comes to kind of the food and providing for your inner body would be liquor. Now, please don't don't hate me for saying liquor. I actually don't drink at all. I don't like liquor. I don't like the taste of it. I don't like any alcohol taste. But why do I say liquor for bartering? First of all, I don't want to have I don't want to have liquor for a vice to make sure an alcoholic can get a drink. That's not what I'm talking about. What I am saying though, it is unperishable. Liquor is an antibacterial and it can clean. It can help sterilize and disinfect certain areas or maybe a spot on your skin that you can't go to the doctor because we're living in bad times or we're needing to take care of ourselves on our property or in our home. Liquor can be a cleaner. It can be antiseptic. It can be antibacterial. It can be a disinfectant. Not only that, it can help us build our medicines. So we build tinctures. Missy has an Ushna tincture and some other tinctures that we've built over uh, on both on both channels, actually. And so we can utilize that to make medicines, to ferment and understand how to heal our bodies more holistically with the flowers and all the medicines that are naturally to our earth with food. So those four things would be great when it comes to maybe food items to barter. Number two heading would be tools, manual tools. We may live in a situation where de-dollarization happens. We may live in a system where we have no grid. We are back living kind of primal and primitive. When we start having things like shovels, rakes, mechanical vehicles that are not tied to any kind of mechanics other than combustions and having a true older engine. That's an early 1960s model truck that we can utilize. It runs strictly off of having gas and pretty much an engine that then it's all running mechanical. So we start building a tool shed. We start building an asset pool dealing with having garden tools. We have to have ways to raise and grow our food. So garden tools are great to have in a bartering sense. So for me, I don't want just one shovel. I want four shovels. I don't want just one rake. I want four rakes. So we stockpile on buying older tools. I don't want to go to Walmart and buy new ones because most of them are made out of plexiglass or cheap plastic or they're just cast metal. I want to go to rummage sales and buy the old tools that last a lifetime. I want the old hammers. I want the old nails. I want some of this stuff that's going to be around forever. Ever. So if I can find old sales, old estate sales, old rummage sales, where I can start picking up some of those tools that most people call junk, most people call cheap and, and worthless, I want to I go to those because that's the ones I want. So having some extra tools such as extra garden tools are key. Not only that, having manual hand tools, screwdrivers, crescent wrenches, hammers, those things are great to have. Hand saws. 
when we come to a point where we're living in a society where we have to start taking care of ourselves and we have to barter not only can we barter food we can barter stuff that allows us to grow the food to take care of our family and when we have hand tools and we have garden tools not only is it a game changer for us because we're utilizing them it allows us to be able to help maybe our neighbors to barter something again to let them have advantage of what they've got they can utilize it borrow it you know uh, change it out with something that that something that they may have that you need working together bartering as a society is great and tools would be a major plus number three's topic would be i call the, the, the miscellaneous pile and here's what i mean by that we don't realize how awesome bailing twine is we don't realize how awesome duct tape is hinges is screws washers nuts bolts these things become very very important when we all of a sudden need to fix something and we don't have the money to maybe go buy it so i personally keep a lot of the miscellaneous on hand i keep extra duct tape i keep extra silicone spray like a sealant i keep extra super glue zip ties oh zip ties are a big one you'd be surprised what that little plastic zip tie can do and how it can really get you out of a bind and people will pay you probably top dollar for those kind of things because you're securing something for instance we secure our pigs our pigs that could literally tear the whole fence down we can secure them in a zip tied cattle panel situation there's been times we've zip tied uh, trees to trellises they're a game changer to have so having those little miscellaneouses i even have pvc pipes some little couplings some corners some 90s some little pieces that if we had to saw through it with those manual tools and we had to piece it back together we have flowing water again think about how bad it is when you don't have something to fix your electrical or have something to fix your plumbing those two problems can cause a major detriment to you and your family well if all of a sudden you have a neighbor who has plumbing needs and electrical needs you may be willing to pay good money for it or trade just about anything for it so the miscellaneouses, the extra goods, the duct tapes, the sealants, the pipes, those are some good things to have. So I've listed just a few, but you need to start thinking about, okay, if I had to repair something, what would I need to repair it in an economical way? And those economical things are the things that people are going to be willing to pay the most for because they're going to need to repair something or temporarily fix something until they can do more. I would also put in here tarps. If all of a sudden I have this storm that's blowing in and it starts ripping off half my shingles, I either have water in my house or I've got a, a five or 10 or $15 tarp that's worth a lot of money because it's keeping the water out of my property. So those things are what I would call the repair miscellaneous, the extra bundle of stuff that is worth its weight in gold when it comes down to it. Fourth, I would consider this the medical bartering bundle. When we talk about that, it's first aid kits, it's having galls, it's having vitamins, supplements, eye drops, eardrops, having those tinctures that we were talking about, having a little extra antibiotic kit, such as the Jace Medical that we, we tend to have. When you have medicines and when you have ways to fix situations when we, when we don't feel good, simple toothaches, tummy aches, having a major allergic reaction to something, a thing of Benadryl, or having some Tylenol, actually would be worth again it's weight in gold because sometimes people need to feel better in any situation they're going on if i'm all of a sudden having to work outside and it's a hurricane and then i slip and i sprain my leg no matter what i've got to get back out there now personally that that tolerable pain may be okay and it may not cause me to have to take medicine but what's to say all of a sudden i need to take medicine at least i would have it think about antibiotics if we get bacterial infections in our body or we can't go to the doctor because money is not worth anything and we have no other way to pay them wouldn't it be worth thousands of dollars to have some antibiotics on hand just in case you could pick that kid up for like two or three hundred bucks put it up jace medical has a great link it is, i have a discount code to it so go check it out it's uh, the max it gives you 10 percent off that case but what i mean is you have to have some kind of medical supplies and a little kit where you can turn around and barter those things now don't barter your stuff away so anytime we talk bartering you have to have an excess of something before you really want to go barter something that you personally could need don't if you have one benadryl or one thing of neosporin or one thing of tylenol or one jace case with antibiotics that's probably not the best thing to negotiate with and barter with because you're going to need those one day so when we talk about buying stockpiles and having extra and having an excess we need to make sure that we have enough for us 
but also some to barter to be able to get the things that we need from our neighbor. Fifth topic, and then we're gonna kind of wrap this video up, would be cooking needs. So I go back to alternative energy. Do you have a way that you can have some kind of energy from the sun? Do you have a generator? Do you have extra gas? Do you have a solar generator? Is there ways that you can sub out some of that energy to provide you with something? What about cooking? Do you have cast iron? Do you have some kind of extra dishes that can last through any situation if you had to light it on a fire or you can still cook inside? You need to have some nice cookware that can go through any situation. We have a lot of extra cast iron and we buy older cast iron so we can get good quality. But there's times where if all of a sudden I had to let go of two skillets, I have plenty for myself, but then I could barter with my neighbor because he may have those old cheap aluminum or a Teflon pan that are no good. So cookware, having a way to cook, having some extra propane or gas or diesel to be able to utilize, having a solar generator that you may can share the battery bank with your neighbor or with your community in negotiations and in barring with something that you need as well. So having that source of cooking, having that source of energy to be able to provide for you. Uh, raw food is okay, you can eat it, but after a while, it's not gonna be good for your stomach and your body. You need to be able to boil and purify water. You need to be able to cook some of the things that you have in stockpile. So having a source of energy, having a source of cookware is key. And a lot of that is even better because then you can barter and make sure that you're taking care of yourself, also getting necessities from someone else. It's all about building a relationship and helping each other. Last thing I want to mention is ourself. We become our skill set. We become worthy of bartering. If you're a mechanic, you can be bartered for something you need. If you can milk a cow, if you can be a butcher, if you can do some of the things that people can't do for themselves anymore, you become a barterer. You become something that can be utilized to then provide for your family. So say for instance you're struggling with water but this guy's cars broke down. If you can go and you can get his car working with that wonderful duct tape that we talked about, you can then turn around and maybe get water from him or maybe get a source of liquid from him or maybe get something else that you may need, rice and beans from him. Do you see how that works? We have to build skills. My wife is a nurse, that's huge. That is a great bartering skill, why? Because people are sick and they're gonna need help and she's the bomb, she can do that. I can break down just about any animal and I know how to raise food and I know how to do a lot of things when it comes to being innovative on farm. I could be a grunt worker too, so if you need help doing those and having those skills, I may be your guy. Well then I can turn around and say, okay, if I can barter my time, then I can get something in return for that. Then we build this whole parallel society on bartering and helping each other. We're building community. We're building a passion for each other again. And honestly, that's what we need in America is that we start caring for people and start building relationships. Bartering is not about giving all your stuff away. Bartering is a relationship negotiation to be able to do those things together. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. You do this for me, I can pay you in salt. I can pay you in meat. I can pay you in whatever you're needing. Bartering is something that is old timey that people thought would go away. Now I think it's making a resurgence and I think we need to put our eyes on it. So this video is all about bartering, understanding, hitting these topics, but understand that we can look at this and say, okay, let's expand this a little bit. Now we've got other videos on bartering and we've got other videos on certain topics that we talked about, but we may even throw in another bartering video next week as well. So let me know in the comments what you think about this video. Our goal is to help you and yes, we want you to stop podcast. Yes, we want you to stop pile precious metals and, and brass and all these things that we've talked about. Yes, keep some money in local banks. But when all that fails, what are we gonna rely on? We're gonna rely on our food, we're gonna rely on our water, we're gonna rely on things that keep us safe, but then some of the things that we can't have, we wanna have extras to then barter, build the parallel society back, and start understanding how to help each other. Well, good news, I didn't get stung in this video. However, this storm is moving a whole lot closer. So that cloud was once over my house, is now over me. And it's thundering, so I better sign off on this video. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Let me know what you think about these videos. If they are helping you in any way, comment below. But remember, we're giving tons away. We actually have a good surprise coming up in mid-July of what we're going to be giving away from both channels, and we hope you will be the winner. All it takes is you subscribe to both channels, commenting, saying, I'm subscribed, I'm ready for the giveaway, and you're entered. Guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless. Happy you'll find what you've got.